Set to go to trial next month, Frank Darabont and CAA's more than seven-year legal battle with AMC over hundreds of millions in profits from The Walking Dead now looks likely to still be going on even after the zombie apocalypse series is over, maybe. Today, New York Supreme Court Justice Joel Cohen pushed the start of the high-profile and high-powered lawyered-up trial back almost one year to April 4, 2022. That'll be over eight years after the pink slipped Darabont and CAA first filed against AMC in late 2013 over the once blockbuster drama based on Robert Kirkman's comics with around $300 million in profit participation at stake. Allegations of self-dealing by the cabler, and a $10 million second suit added more recently, and that's the polite stuff. The already much delayed trial was supposed to kick off in a coronavirus safety protocol enhanced NYC courtroom on April 26, 2021. Now, as the Empire State Courts open up more and more, jury selection in the TWD trial won't even begin until March 28 next year. However, that timetable could shift again, it seems in a compromise in all but name from Justice Cohen in Tuesday's agreement from all the attorneys. If a window for the a five-week jury trial becomes available on the court's calendar before April 4, 2022, and assuming that the court deems pandemic conditions allow a trial to be conducted safely at that time, the parties will use their best efforts to make themselves available for a joint trial of the above-captioned actions during that window, provided that trial counsel for the parties can clear their calendars, and the parties have sufficient notice to secure the participation of their respective witnesses, noted Justice Cohen in today's stipulation and order. Read it here. Neither attorneys for original TWD showrunner Darabont and CAA or AMC responded to request for comment on Tuesday's stipulation and order. Not that they had been so silent over the past few weeks. After years and years of filings, fights, public shaming and a related LA trial with Kirkman, the highly anticipated 2021 trial date was suddenly thrown into question earlier this month by COVID-19 concerns that AMC's Gibson, Dunn and Crutcher attorneys passionately expressed on a conference call with Justice Cohen and Blank Rome and Kinsella Weitzman Iser Kump lawyers for the Shawshank Redemption Director and the Uber Agency. As promised on the call by Gibson's Oren Snyder, those pandemic problems were further expressed in a March 15 motion from the defiant defendants to vacate and continue the five-week trial until the global health crisis has more substantially beaten a retreat.